where you live. Well, we are experiencing a nice cool down, but the intense heat wave really never left. It just shifted a little bit to the west, and it's kind of shifting back east a little as well. These are heat advisories out in the plains. That's an excessive heat warning, and there's a lot of heat in the west as well, all the way up to central Canada. And right on the periphery of that, we've got one little storm cluster that's coming in out of Iowa, and there'll be another one that affects us. Once we get towards tomorrow night, you can see that now this is the big ridge. Everything kind of moving up and around. Now that's where the big dome of heat is. Now this is diving southeast or right on the leading edge of that heat while we are cooler. And it's right on the edge uh, of that heat wave that the first round of some showers and thunderstorms will arrive tomorrow night, last an early Saturday morning. And then we'll get rid of it. Much of Saturday will turn out dry. And then another round of showers and storms. Saturday night, early Sunday morning. Some of those could actually be severe. And then a few scattered storms along a cold front Sunday afternoon, Sunday evening before it cools off once again next week. And speaking of cooling off, tonight we'll drop 50 to 55. 52 Lafayette, 52 Monticello. These numbers are within a couple of degrees of a record low. Tomorrow, upper 70s to right around 80. 80 Lafayette, 81 Attica, and 79 Logansport, still below the normal, which is about 85. But will be more like normal on Saturday, and it's going to be more humid as well. 83 at Burlington, 84 Lafayette, even 87 at Covington, and 86 at Pine Village. There could be some patchy fog that develops tonight in places. And that'll burn off quickly tomorrow morning, followed by an increase in high and mid-level clouds through the day. I think by late in the day we could go partly to mostly cloudy and then eventually tomorrow night it's solid overcast by about midnight. This is two o'clock in the morning and here's that first wave of scattered showers and storms coming in. This is about five o'clock in the morning on Saturday. Then it moves out and we actually get a little bit of sun. In fact, I think it'll be kind of a partly to mostly cloudy afternoon. But once we get into Saturday night and Sunday morning, another round of storms will develop and move over the area and a few of those could be severe. Now here's the outlook for Friday night, early Saturday morning. Warm front comes in and there is the weakening wave of showers and storms. It'll be severe in Iowa, but I don't think it's going to be severe here. We're just going to get the leftovers. Then Saturday night, Sunday morning, as the stronger winds up in the atmosphere dive in, we could see a line of storms form west of here with a damaging wind threat that affects the area and then the severe weather threat moves to the east. But we still may have a couple of storms on the actual cold front as it comes through later Sunday. Check it out near record cool tomorrow morning. We'll drop to 52. The record's 50 and then next week we'll be within a degree or two of a record low Tuesday and Wednesday mornings. Muggy for the weekend, but seasonable mid to upper 80s and then Ah, 75 on Monday, but we're back to the 80s on Thursday. Good looking forecast. It is good. All right, Chad, thank sure. you. Just ahead, there are no signs of the violence in Israel slowing down. We'll have